Hey good folks out there, this is Tommy your Easy Choice Painter. We're doing this bathroom. I'll be painting the ceiling, which is pretty bad, and the walls. And I'm going to stain this floor, and let me explain why I'm going to stain this floor. She had all kinds of towels, and those sticking towels, you know, that you peel off and stick, they're going to move. Everywhere I've been, in my own house included, them towels, they move, things get under them, water gets trapped under them, they're just a bad deal. So what I've done is I did the best I could to get those up, <clears throat> except for the ones that stuck, I cleaned them real good because they attract mildew in between the, the towels where water gets trapped, it attracts, it, it attracts mildew. So what I've done is I've just decked this whole thing over and I'll have trim running here to take care of all these cracks. But instead of putting linoleum down or those, well you could put linoleum down, but there's places where I had to nail to keep this board in place. And so if you put linoleum down, you have to set them nails and fill it with some kind of filler like, like when you do drywall, except it has to be hard filler. Uh, they call it floor leveler or something like that. My brother knows all about that. But I'm just saying that if you lay a piece of linoleum down here, all the seams have to be dealt with. They have to be filled in. And all the nails have to be set. And they have to be filled in also. It has to be perfectly smooth and level. Because wherever there's any inconsistency in time, the linoleum would tear. So the next option would be, okay, I'm not going to use linoleum because it'll tear. They got sticky towels, you know, you got hard towels, and that's expensive. Then you got the towels you can buy at a family dollar store or something like that, and they just peel off and stick. Problem with those is they move. You know, you can kick them and they shift and stuff like that. So, to make a long story short, my plan is after I paint the ceiling, which would be easy, I'm going to stain this. I'm just going to stain this whole bottom here. And that way, there won't be no concern about anything moving because this board is pretty solid. And so therefore, and it's down good and there won't be any problems. Now, before I stain this, I will have to sand it real nice and clean right there. Somebody got paint on it that was not me. So I'm going to just stain, uh, sand it really, really good. You go with the grain when you sand stuff like this. Here's another little tip for you. This door handle here, had a dog problem here. This door handle here went right through the wall. There was a hole in the wall this big. Well, at your hardware store, instead of them door stops, you know, that go right here, you know, that, that's hardware, you could just buy this. This thing right here costs less than three bucks. Sticks right to the wall. This did have wallpaper. This wall did have wallpaper. I got all the wallpaper off. And I was going to put this on after the wall was said and done and all painted. But in my opinion, the best place to put this is on the original wall, not the new painted wall. Then just cut in around it. That's going to be your best way to make it stick good because it's a possibility it could pull the paint, the new paint, off of the wall. So I just went ahead and stuck it on here because this is all clean now after I took off the wallpaper. I was saying this a little bit still. There's some places that are a little bit rough, but it, it's not a big deal. So anyway, that's just what I'm doing today. This is for somebody very close to me. And I'm helping her with her bathroom. And uh, you see one job, you see them all. Everything looks rough, but uh, I will have the progress of this. It'll be two, three videos after this to show the end result. So uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Tommy Reese Choice. Thanks for your support. Have a great day, folks. Catch you later. I got to get busy.